When last we left you, we had just returned from Texas and our RV trip back to our boat Why Not to resume our Great Loop adventure this spring. Now, our mission was to get out of Miami. <laughs> We've been back now, I think, 10 days since we did the, the mini road trip back from Texas. Right. Back on, uh, living on Why Not, which has been great. Feels like home. Feels really good to be back on the water. We the, They've moved us to a slip now that we've got at least a water view out our uh, back window, which is really nice and it's made it a lot more pleasant. But and there's our, only so much you can make pleasant when you've got airplanes going over you nonstop. So. And our boat saviors took incredible care of the boat. It was, I think, cleaner when we came back than when we left. So thank you guys. But now we're back on board and we're ready to start cruising again. But we're nervous. Well, we're Easter nervous. Easter? And yeah. so the first week that we got back, uh, the intention was that we were going to go for a quick haul out. Uh, there's a couple of parts that didn't make it in. A zinc for our, our bow thruster. They just need to screw this on under the water. Well, above, lift, raise this out of the water, screw this on, and then finish our swim platform. Just put a rub rail around parts that weren't ready when we left. So they already had agreed to just haul us out for free as part of our included service that we did uh, last year finish those two little things up. We don't even have to be blocked. That can be done right in the travel lift. Mm -hmm. And so it should be a quick thing. Shoot, shoot. Now, all last week, the shop was just disorganized. Our project manager was out sick the week. No one else knew what to do with us. Yeah, they, were, they weren't so, a little bit unsure of what our projects needed were. So uh, anyway, they, they caught up on everything except for now the stuff that's out of the water. And now this week has been windy. We actually had small crafts advisories yesterday and it was not a good day to go. So we're kind of in a holding pattern because once we um, are put back in the water, after these small services, uh, we're taking the mechanic on board who did the prop work and doing a short sea trial so he can make sure everything is aligned properly and working correctly. Right, which means taking the boat down the Miami River through 11 bridges, four of them we're going to have to raise for us, four draw bridges, out on the water doing in the maneuvers bay. in the bay, which is kind of choppy, with a guy being under instructions from somebody who doesn't speak too much English, so we're hopefully we'll have a translator on board, and then we got to drop him off and then... We're cruising again, but then we got to go find a space to spend the night and catch our breath. And we're also trying to avoid weekends here. Upcoming <laughs> is Easter weekend, and uh -huh. we have been out on the water on a weekend here in Miami, um, out on the tour boat. It's like a washing machine. It is crazy out there, and we would like to <laughs> avoid that if we can and yes. get a little further north north, and kind of ride out a weekend either at a marina or, or, an an anchorage. or a protected anchorage. So uh leaving on a Friday... Especially Good Friday, when you know, it's a three-day weekend for a lot of people, isn't ideal either, which is what we're coming up against. So we may be in Miami just a little bit longer, and I, I'm and, wondering, is yes. this, is this a, a fine line between being overly cautious yes. and being nervous? Because yeah, we could we could have be, we could be pulling out right now. They could have lifted us this afternoon. They said they were ready, but the wind is pretty darn gusty, and we just want to be a little bit on the safer side. And they're like, "Yeah, tomorrow morning's better for them too." So we're like, "Okay, let's try tomorrow morning." The wind is forecast to come down, and we don't yeah. want. It's our first time, first time back driving the boat since November. November. Well, we did a short drive and yeah, so like December. one mile. Yeah. So going out on the bay and dealing with more traffic than we've dealt with ever and more navigational hazards than we've dealt with as or ever and being kind of rusty but definitely want to take it as easy as possible so yeah i think overly cautious i think we're being wise my gut's saying that yep. um i mean and, and we just came off two challenging experiences with as newbie boaters going through a hurricane and uh the channel marker incident so you know, and going through those five weeks of being on the hard and mm -hmm. well that wasn't all the channel yes. marker but it was all other projects yes. too but yeah, we're just off of that. We just took a break, and I really want our return to cruising to be smooth sailing. Smooth sailing. Smooth sailing sounds good. It does. So, so I think it's worth waiting. So for. waiting until the conditions don't say choppy on the bay. Okay, well, that sounds good. And, and a nice midweek departure where we're not dealing with yes. the weekend traffic out there. Uh -huh. So... I That's think we're being wise. I think I've talked myself into that, and it's not just my nerves talking. It's always <laughs> that conversation you have to have with yourself. Mm -hmm. So we'll be back on the water soon. Fingers crossed. <laughs> All right. With some extra time on our hands, we made the best of exploring Miami and getting some other chores done. The extra time allowed us to get together with our friends Nina and Paul, who are about to fly out of Miami to start their new European adventure in France. Uh, now recording. Now recording. Hi! <laughs> we are here with Nina and Paul of Wheeling It. Hi. Hi. <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> some of probably the closest friends we've met on oh. our years on the road. I know, it's been so good. And, and they're leaving the country. <laughs> Not because of us. No. <laughs> With witness protection, so we're going to have to blur their faces on this video, but... Right. <laughs> well, they're going on an RV adventure and just adventure in general in Europe and they just sold their RV so too yeah. late you guys who missed out oh, we're gonna miss you guys yeah, yeah we're gonna, we're miss gonna you too. it's been awesome yeah we've actually you know this whole RVing experience one of the best things we've had is actually meeting people like Chris and Cherie and we never thought we'd make like really really good friends on the road and we totally did yeah you know From and Cape you guys Longo are to Miami, yeah Florida. oh my gosh it's been years we, that we've been friends now how many now. different states have we been together in? we've it's been caravaned amazing. together it's amazing. we've volunteered together so it's been one of the highlights and we're of not done our RV. no there's we're many more done. adventures there yeah. will be other meetups we have a date we have a date in yes. mind in Europe, so <laughs> not here. Stay tuned. Yeah, um, stay tuned or not, just know the friends you meet on the road, whether you quit RVing, move on to other adventures, the friendships do endure and they go on and they will. Yes, That's they right. will. <laughs> All right, okay. guys. Bye. To new adventures. Yes, to new adventures. Yes, adventures. Right. <laughs> dates coming up. <laughs> Love you guys. Have a safe flight. So I said it. And we also got an invitation to visit Antenna World, which is in Miami and run by father and son team, Raul Pla, senior and junior. They gave us a tour of their antenna lab where they design antennas, and they gave our premium members of rvmobileinternet.com a special behind the scenes look about antenna design and testing. Be steady on those. We super enjoyed hanging out with these guys for an evening and geeking out over RF signals. Please do subscribe to their YouTube channel at Simple Wi-Fi and follow along with what they're doing with Wi-Fi and cellular antennas. We also took the opportunity while we were parked next to Hopkins Carter Marine Center and changed out our starting batteries for our engines and replaced them with 8D batteries instead of the mismatched batteries that came with our boat, substantially improving our reliability. Good omen? I'd say that's a good omen. Manatee, the day we arrive and the day we leave. Welcome, we have a special guest on board today on Why Not. This is uh, Traveling Robert, if you probably follow his YouTube channel as well. And um, we had a little dilemma here in Miami. We love the shop we've been working with and the people we've been working with, but there's a language barrier. And we're going about to take Why Not out for her seat trial to test out and recalibrate all the work that was done on the propeller work from the channel marker incident. But our mechanic speaks very little English and Chris and I speak extremely little Spanish. So Robert um, offered to come out with us and be a translator and go for a boat ride with us. Hola. <laughs> Hola. All right, I think I got that one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're number one. But yeah, it's, it's great to finally meet you guys yes. and uh, since, uh, since you've been here in Miami and, yeah. and, and, I, and, I, and I love boats, so it's, it's great to to, to see Miami from the water perspective and, and help you guys. With, yes, with, it uh, should be a beautiful ride. It's really yeah. interesting to do the Miami River. Mm -hmm. We enjoyed coming up here, yeah. so cool. it's fun. And hopefully we'll be able to chill and relax for that part. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, like a time lapse of, of yes. the skyscrapers as we go yes. So for those who don't know you, can you give a quick synopsis of your story? Well, my story, uh, my, of course, I have a YouTube channel, uh, Traveling Robert and the podcast, Living the RV Dream, that I took over from John and Kathy Huggins. And uh, all, all my life, all I wanted to do was, was make videos. And, uh, and uh, about seven years ago, I got the RVing itch. So, I had, so eventually I bought an RV and I've had the YouTube channel for many years. And, uh, and, and now I have a, a, an avenue, a distribution, a, a way to, to, to share my story with, with, uh, with like-minded people. And every, everybody in the RVing community. 
Well, I started uh, f about f almost four years ago as a weekender, you know, like everybody. But uh, since then, the YouTube channel has grown. So now I'm doing YouTube uh, full time. So uh, I'm spending a little more time. Sometimes I'm making like a month or a month and a half long trips. You know, I actually in in January I went all the way to Quartzsite. I, I went from the Tampa RV show to the Quartzsite oh, wow. RV show in five days. Oh my gosh, that's <laughs> so much. Much. And then over there I met uh, so so many people uh, over there at Quartzsite and I said, might as well make it all the way to the Pacific Ocean, right? I'm like, You're right almost there, right anyway. there. <laughs> so that that's what I did and uh, that, that, yeah, that was a road trip of a lifetime. That was a dream come true. And um, now we're, we're, I'm going to continue uh, traveling. I'm going to, to Kentucky in two weeks and then in June I'm going to go to Finland. And that's gonna be uh, that's another bucket list uh, trip. RVing in Finland. RVing in Finland. Awesome. Yeah, we're we're getting an RV in Finland. Are we gonna RV in Finland, Sweden, and Norway? I think they heard me and they seem to be opening the bridge, so I guess I did it right. Yeah, be sure to thank their one. Yep. Yep. For the first time. Here we go. I hear the bells. Traffic is stopped. What is the clearance on this bridge? It's supposed to be 17 feet. Thank you for the opening. Have a great day. Yeah, that's the bridge. Yeah, that's looking more like 12 feet. Too. Oh, that's the size. Yeah, so that's <laughs> 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 <laughs>